what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more vinland saga i know it's been a while so don't even go in the comment section right now you guys know what's been going on with me so just gotta be patient but today i'm gonna be doing three episodes of vinland saga so to catch up so uh um, we're gonna be doing what 17 18 and 19 which dropped today actually so i'm gonna be doing that reaction too also um I don't know because I don't I don't even think the sub version is out yet, but I'm going to go check when I finish with 18. I'll go check to see if if the sub version is available and then I will react to it. But we'll see if not, if it's not ready, if the sub version is not out yet, then, you know, we'll have to wait a little bit. But in any case, want to jump in, see what's going on. So I'm not going to waste any more time with the intro. Um. I went back and watched a couple of episodes just to um, remember some of the lore stuff and the stuff that they were setting up um, for um, coming up in these upcoming episodes. So let's go watch this and let's go see. As I said, don't want to waste too much time. And I'll see you guys for the review of these three episodes or two. Not <laughs> entirely sure yet, but I'm trying to do all three anyway. So I'll see you guys over there. All right, so Knut is a savage. I didn't know. <laughs> Anyways, man, is growth? Um, I know a lot. I know a lot of people is gonna say it was too quick. It was too sudden. It was too sudden. But they did a great job of kind of quenching that sudden um, change in his character because you know. But there was also this build up towards the moments you know it's like oh we changed because of one conversation but it was an awesome conversation <laughs> if i should say you know what i'm saying for him to have that turnaround from what he was talking about with the priest and to change him into what he is now which is it's more of like he understands now you know that there are things that you can do to get to that point. It's not necessarily... I don't think all in all that he... Uh, I don't think he agreed with what the priest was saying. Just like how I disagreed with him. I think it's more of like he understands why the priest thinks the way he thinks. And Knut is going to actually actively try to change that about the world. You know what I'm saying? So he's going to go about that in a way of showing love. You saw how he hugged Bjorn and kind of get him out of that berserker mode that he's in, that crazy mode. And that's why the, the priest woke up and he's like, oh, I've witnessed a miracle. You know what I'm saying? Because now he understands that it's true. Actually, he, the priest has basically gave, give up on the world. He's, dr he's drinking all the damn time. You know what I'm saying? So all that stuff he's saying is just based on not necessarily the fact that he's drunk, all the damn time or drinking all the time is more of like a, a a state of you know him giving up on the world and you know giving up on people really of like whatever happens this happens because humans are basically not capable of loving anything so basically that's where he's at in his fate in his, in his faith so i don't think canute believes him i think he's just gonna actively try to change people's mind into understanding that you know we can show love we can be different you know what i'm saying um so i'm definitely digging that i might be interpreting it wrong but if you guys got something else from this storyline like let me know but that was dope though with Askeladd and the, the fight between thorfinn and thorkel was absolutely off the chain the animation was on point they really are putting a lot of money behind this anime you know the first season just to get people in um and they're building the lore incredibly the the, the flashback of you know kind of understanding who Askeladd is and where he's getting this determination to make Canute king on who to follow is absolutely brilliant I like that foreshadowing and the thing that happened was more likely this the most interesting thing about these three episodes that happened to me other than the Canute storyline was the 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 backstory on Thorkel and Thors like 
that was the most interesting thing to me because you guys know I love Thoris. And if Thorkel is saying that Thoris is the only person that is stronger than him, you know that Thoris was a boss. And to me, he would have been an OP character in the series if they had kept him alive, but I still miss him, even though we only had him for four episodes. Um, you know, so for, for that, for me, it was just like, okay, what are we doing here? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it was one of those things where you're looking at it and you're like, this dude just stopped. He, he basically stopped him twice. We know how strong Thorkel is. And he, Thoris is manhandling this dude. He knocked him out clean <laughs> with no effort. He one hit or quitter this dude in the on the back of a cabin, bro. Come on, man. Thoris, he was gonna be too OP in the series, so I can understand if you create a character like that, why you would want to like kill him early. Whatever. Great story telling. You know, um of on the, the backstory between the two of them man and knowing now that Thorkel is actually related to Thorfinn like that I I wasn't even thinking that they could be related but I guess I mean blonde here blonde here you know what I'm saying like it there was the possibility you know and then you were like oh Helga is the one that is he's related to um so that makes him basically um his grand hunk uncle i, I want to say like his grand uncle right because elga calls him uncle so it, it, he's elga's uncle so basically he's you know what i'm saying he's thorfinn's grand uncle oh my god that's it, this awesome man it's awesome it's awesome so the lore is awesome behind this show and i can't wait i know there's a bunch of episodes left to go i don't know how much i think it's only like maybe like 24 episodes or something like that but we're we maybe got like maybe three or four left, but um I don't know how this the story gonna end. This was I mean they could have ended they could have ended the the season here to be honest to to be honest the season could have ended right here but there's still more for them to tell. I don't know how it's gonna go but I'm definitely definitely gonna try to I'm not gonna make it build up to three episodes again before I watch it again because I think I can do this. You know, like, you know, every Sunday or Monday, I can do it like I was doing before going forward. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. This was great. Vinland Saga is a great anime, guys. Um, and I know some of you guys have read the manga, so you know what's happening. And you know how good it is. A lot of people has been waiting for this to come out. But this was great, man. Um, I'm guessing he has... I don't... I, I'm kind of going to have to go back and see what Thorko's weakness is. Because Askeladd must have fought with him or at some point, I don't know. But he loses his balance when he gets kicked in the head or the neck. I think his, he got, I don't know if it's, I think I think Thorfinn kicked him in the head or in the temple. Could have been. I'm not sure where exactly he got kicked, but we'll see. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Gratitude is never enough, man. You guys are awesome. Keep watching. Subscribe if you're new. Comment in the comment section. Also, leave a like on this video, and I will catch up with you guys later. Still have one more series to do tonight before I sign off of reactions for the night. Um, try to get some music. I did not get a chance to do music reactions, so I have to definitely get those out um, sometime this week. Maybe Tuesday or so before Thanksgiving. So... Thank you guys so much. It's your boy Turbot Reacts. See you guys later.